Jim Jordan is apparently going around telling people that Donald Trump is about to launch his run for the presidency. Now this has been reported, but in response to reporters saying he's doing this, particularly in Ohio, a spokesperson for Representative Jim Jordan has denied it saying not true, Mr. Jordan did not say this. And it's like, ah, oh, if only we had video. But we do, thanks to reporter Lauren Windsor, who had a little talk with Jim Jordan, which you'll see here. He's gonna run again. You think so? I talked to him yesterday. He's about ready to announce after all this craziness in Afghanistan. Thank God. Yeah, like, in Part of my French kind of thing. He said he's really bad. Really bad. Okay, well, I want to know. Thank you for coming. So uh, the woman you saw in the video is uh, Lauren Windsor, uh, the, the host uh, and head of Undercurrent, uh, continuing to do a great job of posing as a conservative woman. And uh, these guys just fall for it. Ron Johnson last week, Jim Jordan today. I don't know, is it gonna be Louis Gomer, Matt Gates? Oh, please go talk to Matt Gates, Lauren Windsor. <laughs> Imagine what you can get him to admit on camera. Oh yeah. No, stay away from him. You're a woman, <laughs> don't go near Matt. <laughs> that's, also, that's also true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good point, Rayvon. All right. Well, she's uh, not 16, though, so I think yeah. that she's going to be just oh, fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, look, again, Lauren Windsor doing a terrific job. Uh, she, undercurrent was when, it, partly because we used to work with her at Current TV. So it turns yeah. out people who used to work with the Young Turks can actually go on to do wonderful things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, she's doing amazing uh, reporting, and it, it's amazing that they haven't caught on. They're just like, woman. American flag hat, let me tell you everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, but let's focus on what the news story is. The news story is uh, Trump apparently is going to announce imminently that he is going to run in 2024. In a sense, it's a very large story because that knocks out all the talk of DeSantis and all the other people who are thinking of running. Tucker. But who, uh, and who will all bow down to Donald Trump and lick his boots also imminently as soon as he announces it because you can't oppose the Don. Uh, and, uh, but in a sense, is it that big a story? Because did anybody think he wasn't gonna run in 2024? Did, or, oh, well, you know, he's a little bit shy. And you know, once bitten, <laughs> no. Well, he's no. got a lot of new hobbies and he's really enjoying them. He feels like he's reconnected with his family. He's starting to remember some of their names. <laughs> like, does he really wanna break that off for wasting time in politics? Come on. He's got a lot of weddings and funerals to attend where he can talk about himself. That he's not invited to, but he yeah. shows up at. So you got the Jason Miller part of this story? Yes, yeah, so Jason Miller said, I would say somewhere between 99 and 100%. I think he's definitely running in 2024. And Miller said he had just spoken with Trump a day earlier, noting that the former president has not said the magical words to me. Ugh. Stating that he'll run again, but he added that talking to Trump for only a few minutes makes it pretty clear that he's running. So, look, and we talked, Brett Ehrlich and I talked about this on the damage report this morning. It could be that they're just giving us information and in fact, they're talking to Trump. It's likely that they are, but it also kind of reeks of both Jason Miller and Jim Jordan wanting you to know that they're talking to Trump. Oh, he he loves he loves talking to me. We chat every once in a while, 100%. sometimes during insurrections. Um, but definitely, we talk. I'm great and cool. Talk to me too. That's what it feels like. Definitely, no question, Rayvon. I also love the language that Jason Miller used. Magical words, just like the thought <laughs> of Trump whispering <laughs> whatever <laughs> magical words are in his ear is very funny. But I mean, I I uh, I don't. You know, doubt that um, Jim Jordan talked to Trump about this. You know, we know he talks to him a lot. You know, even on January sixth during ongoing insurrections. But <laughs> you know, and Trump running is not a big surprise. He's egotistic. He loves himself. He wants to get his power back. He wants to get his status back. I don't know if he wants that more than he wants to get his Twitter account back. <laughs> but <laughs> either way, what this story like really has made me sit and think about is. What the DNC response will be to a Trump 2024 uh, run, because they can't use the uh, the same uh, you know things they the same moves they did in 2020. It's a lot harder to uh, sort of you know a lot of people or most people who voted for Joe Biden weren't really voting for him. They were voting against Trump, and that's not really a great strategy after 
four years of a Democratic president. Yeah. You know, it was a lot easier to you know scare people into the polls while Trump was still in office. But unfortunately, Americans have extremely short memories. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I really hope that they don't just fall back to that playbook. And I think what they really need to do is start passing legislation in Congress. Joe Biden needs to start signing executive orders that will you know, actually improve the lives of Americans in a material way. And that has to happen. That change has to be you know, real and something that they can see before the 2024 election. Otherwise, I mean, I don't think Trump will win. I hope I hope with all my heart he doesn't, but you know it's really the ball is in the Democrats' court to make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay, so last couple of things here. I'm with Ravana. I'm I'm glad that they have safe words when they're playing together. Um, <laughs> I don't want to know what they are on Twitch. Dissident PM guessed that the magic words are massive dumps. Uh, I was going to guess Kofefe. <laughs> Maybe that's what Kofefe is. It's a safe word. And Jason finally takes the <laughs> thing out of his mouth. All right, so um, the ball, is that what they would gag? Okay, um, thank okay. you. I mean, not thank you, but thank you. Okay. Um, I'll take it. Well, if he's a spokesperson, which he was for Trump, at some point you gotta take the gag out. So, uh, <laughs> uh, uh Rob in our member <laughs> section wrote oh. in, in a personality cult, status is connected to proximity to the object of the cult. Yes. Rob, great point, great smartest point. audience in the world, okay? And then finally, uh, look guys, I think that they were gonna tease people with the run for longer. My guess as to why they're starting to go now, which is very early, is because he'll then claim I'm running for president. That's why they're doing these criminal actions against me. Remember, hmm. his chief financial officer has been arrested for the Trump organization. And, and they're putting a ton of pressure on Weisselberg. Sure. And if Weisselberg flips, Trump is next. And then he wants to be running for president first when they indict him. And he goes, "Oh, now it's political. And so that might be part of the calculus. Here. I think it gives him more influence directly in 2022 as well. And he'd probably prefer to run and stop others from really exploring it or starting to generate more attention. And like he's seeing all this stuff about Ron DeSantis, Republicans really like him. He doesn't want to wait another year and a half to announce that he's definitely running when Ron DeSantis might be even bigger as a threat. And oh, John, that's such a great point. It remind me of one other thing. Uh, th there was a story out, in fact, a couple of days ago about how some of the Republican donors are getting sick of Trump and they're starting to give money to other Republicans who might think of running for president. This might, Trump might have seen that and go, oh, no, 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 mm -hmm. I want all the money. Totally. So if I go in, DeSantis and everybody else bows and then, and this says Kofefe, and then I get all their money. <laughs> and so that is, that's why there is some actual, um, Reasons to go earlier like they are now, yeah. and why this story is important. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.